Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to our real estate update. My name is Robert Gowell. I'm Richard Briggs. If you recall from our first show, uh, we talked about Susie Orman's new book release, The Money Class. Uh, one point that we didn't cover that's very important that we cover today is that she advises people, if you're thinking about buying a home, don't even think about it unless you have 20% down and have eight months savings in reserve. Well, that, who doesn't have 20% down and eight months saved in reserve? That should handle the, uh, the buying problem yeah. and really get rid of the oversupply of listings. Last time I checked, we're still living in America and not Dubai, so I know what people have in their accounts. And while out promoting her new book, Susie Orman basically stated to a homeowner that if he is underwater by $50,000 or more, the homeowner should take a real hard look at possibly doing a short sale. Now banks are currently granting short sales and if it's your primary residence, you don't even have to pay income tax on the shortage due to the Mortgage Debt Forgiveness Act passed by George Bush in 2008 and expires in 2012. Essentially what it does is if you come up short, you owe no federal income tax on that shortage. It's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, that is a great thing. And actually, Trulia just posted Warren Buffett's response to Susie Orman. It's kind of a Warren versus Susie thing. Yeah. And Warren firing back by saying, you know, this is a great time to buy with interest rates and prices at their near lowest. And did you know that uh, he's the third richest man in the solar system or planet Earth, whichever you want to call him? Yeah. And the funny thing is he still lives in a house that he bought 52 years ago for $31,000. He hasn't had a payment in 22 years. He's doing quite well. I wonder if he's updated the kitchen and baths. <laughs> well, we're going to get back to that. Now, if we take Susie Orman's advice, uh, Robbie and myself are both, you know, we were mortgage brokers, we're both investors, and we're realtors. But her buying advice is just way too conservative, overprotective, and I think may make cause some people to miss out on an opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, well, think about this. Let's just say you're a first time home buyer and you want to buy a home for $100,000. With Susie's advice, you're going to have to put $20,000 down and have eight months saved up in reserves, which could be another six to $7,000. Then you're going to have to pay some closing costs possibly, but definitely some moving expenses. So for the first time home buyer to buy a home for $100,000, according to Susie, they're going to have to come out of pocket thirty. dollars thousand dollars. Our advice would be that if you could qualify for an FHA loan, you would only have to come out of pocket $3,500, let's say three months in reserve. Well, I mean, the bottom line is Susie's advice, you're going to have to come out of pocket $30,000. If you go FHA, you could possibly, with moving expenses, be out of pocket $6,000, keeping $24,000 in the bank or invested somewhere else. Makes sense. Now, let's compound this with the way the rents are going now in the country. Rents, you know, typically for a three bedroom, two bath house throughout the country in a decent neighborhood, your rent is going to be anywhere from a thousand to twelve hundred. And I think we're being conservative here. But if you were to buy a house through FHA, your total outlay is only going to be about eight hundred dollars a month. Well, your payment would be about five ninety five a month. Then throw in a hundred dollars for taxes, hundred dollars for insurance, seven ninety five, eight hundred dollars a month. So if you find a rental for a thousand. By owning a home, you can still save $200, or if you find a home that the rent is $1,200, you're saving $400 a month by owning, plus the tax benefits. So Richard, let me ask you a question. Whose side are you on here? Are you on Warren or Susie's side? Well, I think they both had some good points, but they missed the marks on a couple of things. The first thing that I agree with is Susie Orman, if you're upside down, you really need to take a hard look at it. I do not agree with her buying advice of putting all your eggs in one basket. Totally agree. That's not good business. Uh, Warren Buffett, I agree with him that it's a great time to buy. You just have to know the location, the prices, and that's why you need to hire professionals. You know, and it really comes down to, is it a good time to buy? It's always a good time to buy. It's what you buy it for. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks for watching our show today. We hope you enjoy it. Again, my name is Robert Gowell. This is Richard Briggs, and we'll be back to you with your daily dose next week. Bye-bye.